dysphagia. Meaning. The word dysphagia is derived from the Greek phagia, to eat, and divias, with difficulty. Eating becomes unjoyful. Definition. The term dysphagia refers to the feeling of difficulty passing food or liquid from the mouth to the stomach. It refers to the sensation of food being obstructed in the food passage anywhere from the mouth to the stomach. Etiology. Dysphagia has been classified broadly into two types on the basis of sight. Oropharyngeal. Esophageal. Oropharyngeal dysphagia, inability to initiate the act of swallowing. 1. Neuromuscular diseases. A central nervous system, CNS. Cerebral vascular accident involving the brain stem. Parkinson disease. Wilson disease. Multiple sclerosis. Brain stem tumor. B. Peripheral nervous system. Poliomyelitis. Peripheral neuropathies, e.g. diphtheria, tetanus, rabies, diabetes mellitus. C. Motor end plate. Myasthenia gravis. D. Muscle. Oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy. Primary myositis. Metabolic myopathy, e.g. glycogen storage disease, lipid storage disease. 2. Mechanical or obstructive lesions. A. Inflammatory. Pharyngitis. Abscess. Peritonsilla. Parapharyngeal retropharyngeal. Tuberculosis. Syphilis. B. Neoplastic. C. Pluma Vinson syndrome. D. Extrinsic compression. Thyromegaly. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Cervical osteophytes. Lymphadenopathy. E. Disorders of the upper esophageal sphincter. U.S. It is related to the abnormal U.S. relaxation or opening. Incomplete relaxation. Cricopharyngeal achalasia. Oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy. Inadequate opening. Cricopharyngeal bar. Zenka diverticulum. Delayed relaxation. Familial dysautonomia. Esophageal dysphagia. Patients usually complains of feeling of food getting stuck several seconds after swallowing and will point towards the suprasternal notch or behind the sternum. 1. Neuromuscular, motility, disorders. A most common. Achalasia. Diffuse esophageal spasm. B. Other motility abnormalities. Nutcracker esophagus. Hypertensive lower esophageal sphincter. Motility disorders secondary to scleroderma. Collagen disorders, Chagas disease. 2. Mechanical or obstructive. Dysphagia is due to mucosal edema or benign stricture. A. Esophagitis. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. Infectious esophagitis, HIV, H. pylori, herpes, candidiasis. Medication induced esophagitis, NSAIDs, quinidine, potassium, vitamins, B complex. Iron sulfate. Radiation treatment. Caustic injury. B. Disorders of wall esophageal stricture. Zenka diverticulum. Epiphrenic diverticula. C. Disease causing external compression. Hiatus hernia, mainly parisophageal hernia. Cervical osteophytes mediastinal growth. Vascular ring, dysphagis lusoria. D. Luminal obstruction. Foreign bodies, esophageal webs, Shatsky rings, carcinoma esophagus, functional grades of dysphagia. There are six grades of dysphagia. Grade 1, complaints of dysphagia but still eating normally. Grade 2, requires liquid with meals. Grade 3, able to take semi-solid, but unable to take any solids. Grade 4, able to swallow liquids only. Grade 5, unable to swallow liquid, but able to swallow saliva. Grade 6, unable to swallow saliva also. Sign and symptoms. Pain and difficulty in swallowing. Sensation of food being stuck into throat or chest. Cuffing or gagging while swallowing. Nasal regurgitation. Dysarthria. Nasal speech because of associated muscle weaknesses. Frequent burning sensation in chest. Having food or stomach acid back up into the throat. 
unexpectedly losing weight. Symptoms and possible etiologies. Condition. Diagnosis to consider. Difficulty in initiating swallow. Oropharyngeal dysphagia. Food sticks after swallow in chest. Esophageal dysphagia. Progressive dysphagia. Neuromuscular dysphagia, carcinoma. Sudden dysphagia. Foreign body, esophagitis. Intermittent dysphagia. Rings and webs, diffuse esophageal spasm, nutcracker esophagus. Cough. Early in swallow. Late in swallow. Neuromuscular dysphagia. Obstructive dysphagia. Weight loss. In elder patient. With regurgitation. Carcinoma. Achalasia. Pain after swallowing. Esophagitis. Dysphagia related to. Solid foods only. Solid and liquid both. Obstructive dysphagia. Neuromuscular dysphagia. Regurgitation of old food and halitosis. Zenka's diverticulum. Dysphagia relieved with repeated swallow. Achalasia. Diagnostic evaluation. History taking. Physical examination. Blood investigations HB percent, WBC, serum iron. Radiology plain X-ray, barium meal, CT thorax neck. Upper GI endoscopy. Laryngoscopy. 24 HRPH monitoring. Endoscopic ultrasound. Histopathology. Treatment. Lifestyle modification. Drug therapy. Therapeutic endoscopy. Dilation. Stentings. Chemoradiation. Surgery. Lifestyle modification. These include. Avoidance of precipitating foods, fatty foods, alcohol, caffeine. Oral hygiene. Avoidance of recumbency postprandially. Elevation of the head of the bed. Smoking cessation. Weight reduction. Neuromuscular dysphagia. Maintenance of oral hygiene. Chew well semi-solid liquid diet. Eat small meals more frequently. Thermal tactile stimulation. For grade 4 to 6 dysphagia trichomyotomy. Drug therapy for esophageal dysphagia. Reflux esophagitis. H2 blocker. Antacids. Metoclopramide domperidone. Motility disorders. Nitrates. Calcium channel blockers. Sildenafil. Botox injection. Caustic injuries. Steroids. Vinegar, lemon, orange juice, alkali injection. Milk, egg white, antacid, acid injection. Inflammatory lesion. Antibiotics. Antifungal. Incision and drainage for abscess. Therapeutic endoscopy. Foreign body food bolus extraction. Dilation. Up to 46-0 flow. Hydrostatic pneumatic. Indications. Strictures. Shaki rings achalasia anastomotic stenosis. Pneumatic dilator. Stents. Chemoradiation. Grade 1 to 3 dysphagia in case of cancer of esophagus. Neoadjuvant. Grade 4 to 6 dysphagia in case of CA esophagus. Palliative. Cisplatin plus 5 Fu plus 60 GVI. Radiation over 8 weeks. Surgery. Diverticultomy diverticulopexy plus myotomy. Esophageal diverticulum. Myotomy motility disorders neuronal dysphagia. Fundoplication reflux esophagitis. Hernia repair. Plural repair. Hiatus hernia. Esophageal resection and reconstruction malignancy. Long-standing achalasia. Caustic injuries. Nursing management. Nursing diagnosis. Imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements. Acute pain. Risk for aspiration related to tube feeding as evidenced by patient having pegged tube with feedings and speech evaluation showing silent aspiration. Nursing outcomes. PT's head of bed will be greater than or equal to 30 degrees during the hospitalization. PT's mouth will be clean and free from any debris or mucus buildup during hospitalization. 
PT will tolerate tube feedings well by having less than 30 cc of residual throughout hospitalization. Nursing interventions. The nurse will verbalize and demonstrate to the family and staff about how to keep the head of the greater than 30 degrees and the importance of doing so every shift. The nurse will assist for head of the bed placement every shift. The nurse will provide mouth and lip care to the patient every 4 hours throughout the hospitalization. The nurse will check the patient's peg tube residual and document residual amounts every shift. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.